trick or treat. It's Halloween. Sure is. Hey guys, welcome to Mom Style. I'm Chelsea. And I'm Colette. Make sure to subscribe to our channel because obviously we're very beautiful. <laughs> Never looked better. So we have basically collected some of the most fun and the easiest hacks that can be done from the dollar store. And we're gonna round them up for you guys today and show you how to get bested. Let's do it. For this first hack, this is the floating hand. If you're gonna have a punch bowl at your Halloween party, number one- Spike it. Oh my God, I was gonna say that. <laughs> I got these non-latex gloves from the Dollar Tree. Make sure that you do not buy latex gloves because mm -hmm. there are people out there who have latex allergies. Ooh. Not fun. Yeah. Rinse it out with water first. Mm. Then you're gonna wanna fill it up with water, mm. tie a knot, put it in the freezer overnight. Once it's all frozen, all you have to do is cut the rubber glove off Pop it in your punch bowl and ooh, spooky fingers. All right, the next hack is for cocktails as well, but this is for your glass. So you're gonna get an ice tray, one that you already have, or you can buy one at the Dollar Tree, and you're gonna get these little packages of flies. So fill the ice tray with water and then go ahead and put as many flies as you would like into those ice cubes. And when they come out, it's gonna look like you got a bug in your drink. Gross. I would put a straw in each person's glass so that they're not accidentally choking on flies. Wow, you really thought of everything. I did. <laughs> Who likes donuts? I like donuts. I love donuts. This one is really cute, even if it's just for your kids at home. All you have to do is get these little things from the Dollar Tree, mm -hmm. stick them in the hole of your donut, and boom, vampire donuts. Vampire donuts. Now, a tip that we found is helpful with these is if you actually cut the fangs apart and place them in to the donut, it actually makes it so that you don't separate and break apart the entire donut when the fangs are trying to open. Yep. Let's talk tablescape. So I found these glitter light up skulls at the Dollar Tree and thought it would be a cute candle holder. So all I did is I cut a cross in the top of the skull and shoved a candle in. The candles that I got for this are those plain white emergency candles that actually burn for, I think it says 27 hours. Whoa. To make it even creepier, I did the old red candle blood hack. All you're gonna wanna do for this is light a red candle and let the red wax drip onto your white candle. Now, if you want longer drips, you're gonna hold it in one place for a little bit longer and that's how you get those long stringy strands of blood. If you wanna make this one kid friendly, they also have these LED candles at the Dollar Tree. And all I did is the same thing. I took the red wax, dripped it on the LED candle and boom, we have a non-flame candle for the babies. A fun thing you can use this for if you're not having a party. When I was a kid, my mom always used to give us a light up flashlight for yep. trick or treating. This would be really fun to hand to your kids so that they could light the way as they run house to house. So cute. And also you can find them in a crowd. Our last and final hack is a floral arrangement. Now, again, from the Dollar Tree, you are gonna find these vases. You can get them in whatever kind of color is gonna match the theme of your party. And then buy uh, some spooky looking flowers, purple. We, we like the black ones. You need some eyeballs and you're gonna glue the eyeballs to the middle of the flower. Now, if you wanna make it a little spookier, take a red Sharpie and go over where the pink veins are just to make them a little bloodier. Ugh. That's it. Those are our hacks for Halloween. We hope you guys enjoy yourselves. Also, make sure to steal your kids' candy. Happy Hackoween! Oh my god, that was great. I know. <laughs> it just came to me. <laughs>